Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at Terraform data sources. Now, data sources are ways that we can query items from the provider, in this case Azure API, and utilize it within our code. Although we don't really need it since it's already available in our state file, we're going to query the public IP we're using just to illustrate how data sources work. So let's get started. So if you take a look, we've got the data source documentation. Not too incredibly complicated. Basically, we just specify data instead of resource. We then pass in the data source we want to use, give it a name, and then pass in any of the expected arguments. And if you scroll down, you'll see there are several different types, but we're going to keep it very, very simple. So what we want here is we want the public IPs available to us to be released. So we want to be able to see these and access them from within our state and eventually pipe those to an output. So let's go ahead real quick and see how this works. So here I am back in my console. I've actually closed out of the one connected to my instance. And let's go ahead and add this data source here down at the bottom. So we're just going to specify data. Azure RM underscore public underscore IP. MTC IP data is what we'll call it. That sounds good. Open and close some braces. And then the name equals Azure RM underscore public underscore IP dot MTC dash IP dot name. So what we're doing is we are querying the IP address we created up here. As you remember, the name MTC IP, we are querying that to get its IP address. Now, once again, we don't really need to do that because we're using the same state file. We just access it however we want or just access it just using our resource names. But if you, for instance, had another Terraform deployment without access to that state, then this is a way that we could do it. We could actually use a data source to access that IP within Azure without having to dig through the state file. So after that, it just wants a resource group name. And of course, that's going to be Azure RM underscore resource underscore group dot MTC dash RG dot name. Just as we've used many times before. So what this is going to do is find the IP address that matches these conditions. So now let's go ahead and see what this looks like in our state. And what I'm going to do, we actually don't need to apply again because this data source is not a resource. It doesn't need to be applied. All we need to do is a refresh. So we're still going to use the apply keyword, but we're not going to actually apply anything to Azure at all. So we'll run terraform apply dash refresh only. And as you can see, there are no changes, but we know we have made a change at least to our configuration file. So we do want to apply, apply complete. Let's now take a look in our state. Open that state up. You can see we actually have our new data source here. And if you scroll down, we've got the IP right there, right at the top, very easy to find. So if I run a Terraform state list, as you can see, we now have our data.azurempublicip.mtc-ip-data, which reflects this. So once we need to access that, we can access it using that. All right, so that's all for this lesson. Go ahead and mark it complete. Come on back to the next one and let's continue the course.